and after that we'll see how to uh, add the controls to make our application looks really good and for this uh, we are going to copy this one copy right here and paste okay there we go this one will be the base and this one will be the height no problem this one will be area and this one in my in my case i have a text box 8 this one's text box 6 and this one 7 so 8 6 7 and now let's write the code um, okay dimension b as double dimension h as double dimension a as double so uh, you don't have to make it a single level let me change that make it uh, base complete word okay height and this one area okay no problem with that you can do it any way you want so base now equal text box uh, 6.text and uh, height equal text box 8.text oh I think I made it in some kind of I made some kind of error wait a minute this one's text box 8 gosh the base is 8 this one's 6 and this one's 7 eight six seven so this one is eight for the base this one is six ah uh, the, they wouldn't have affected the result because uh, but uh, to make it uh, to make the code more sound or more logical okay so um area equals 0.5 multiplied by base multiplied by height okay and finally we display the result and that one should be text box 7 the text equals area as simple as that now save our work mm, okay uh, just to check the tab index this one is tab, tab index 8 uh, this one tab index should be 9 tab index should be 10 sorry tab index 10 tab index 11 and tab index 12 ok uh, save our work and application Okay, use the tabs to navigate now 10 5 and we should get the value for 25 so it's working very perfectly fine if you use point 0.1 and compute you can see it's working very well okay so this is our application right now uh, a few modification uh, first of all uh, when uh, the information here are very mixed right uh, this is for the square, this is for the triangle, this one for triangle and uh, we know because we are the developer but what if someone want to use your application uh, this will be very inconvenient and to solve this problem there is a control you use to make things look much easier uh, and uh, much more professional that one is the group box okay and to use it you just draw this square okay and inside this square you are going to place the controls so you just drag them and drop them inside and this is it okay and so it's done this is the first one and this is it here like this uh, now if you go to its text property, it's written here, uh, sorry, group box 1. And uh, we don't want to see group box. Instead, we will write something meaningful, uh, like area of square. And this is how it's, it's going to look like, area of square. We will do something similar to these. Okay, so this is another group box. And those are the controls 
drag them from here and drop them right here. Okay. Okay. There you go. And the final group box. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So this is it. And for its controls, we are going to place them correctly right here. And now we're going to change just the title. This one base height, so it's for the triangle. Let's change the triangle. Okay. Of course, make sure that when you click, you are clicking on the name or at least any empty area in this uh, in this. Uh, control because if you click here you are now selecting the label and you are going to change the label if you click here you are changing the text box information so just make sure okay so now I right now this one is rectangle let's resize our form make it something like this okay now let's run the application see how it looks like Okay, this is it. You can see now this one is for your half square, this one is for a triangle, 20, calculate, you can see it's 100, no problem with that. This one is 30, 33, okay, 990, and so on. So each one of these is working perfectly fine, there is no problem with it. Okay, um, now we finished working with uh, the group box and understood how it to make things look very professional. Right now we are going to add something to our application to our application so that um, it displays uh, the previous computation. Okay? In other words, if I press if I calculate the area for three squares, I want to still remember that. And I'm going to use something here called the list box. Okay. Oh, to make things more neat, I'm going to use a group box. And call this one is the history. Okay. And this is very nice. And okay. And the list box is right here. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to change its name into history. Okay, what I, uh, what I want to do uh, is whenever I calculate an area, it will be displayed with the previous calculation. And uh, we are going to use this list box. Okay, it displays items and allows you to add into its content uh, from time to time. So now let's start with with that. Now press compute. I'm going to do the following. I will compute the value of the area and store the result into uh, our text box but also uh, list box one dot items. I'm going to access the item that the list box is displaying and add to them something new. It is the is this the area of square is and then a okay uh, 